Alright guys, good morning! So if you've seen the previous video, then you know we landed in Venice, Italy. Today we're clearly not in Venice anymore. We're actually in Pisa, Italy. Today we're about to embark on a three-hour road trip to one of Europe's most beautiful hot springs. Cheers! Guys, the landscape here in Italy is so stunning. It's mostly like farmlands. Check out our view right now. Like in the middle of nowhere. I honestly have no idea where we are. But yeah, let's keep going. We're almost there. And we can't wait to show you what this beautiful hot spring looks like. Let's go. Alright, so we're now passing through the region of Tuscany and it is stunning here. We're passing through like vineyards and the landscape is just unbelievable. Alright, so we're two minutes away. I already saw the hot spring from above and it was so freaking stunning. I'm so excited right now. All right guys, so we're finally here. So this hot spring is called Cascade del Molino and it's a very popular hot springs here in Europe. All right, so we are now naked. <laughs> we're heading to the hot spring now. Not even a oh, long walk, it's literally just gosh. there. Wow. Let's just stand here and admire it for a few minutes because No, let's go in. <laughs> All right, so I guess there's no entrance fee to be able to uh, swim in the hot spring because we didn't pay for anything except for parking. That's basically it. So it's two fifty per hour. It is absolutely incredible how this place is even real. Oh, it's so stunning. How's it, babe? Oh, it is a hot spring. What's not that hot? Oh, it feels so good, especially because it's a bit chilly up here. I think we're like really high up, actually. Oh. Ah. The color of this water, though, it's like Gatorade. Gatorade blue, babe. It's so nice. Oh, I can't drop my camera now. Oh, that feels so good. Yeah, like what Anne said earlier, it's kind of chilly up here. Yeah. So this is so refreshing. It's like warm. It feels like, like a big warm hug. <laughs> <laughs> like how is this even real? What the heck? And it's literally just on the side. The parking lot was like a minute walk yeah. and then there's the, like no trek at all. It's just on the side. It's like a random beautiful hot spring in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, super, super easy access. Like anyone can get here. Man, check this off the bucket list. Cause this has been on Anne and I's bucket list for a long time. Yeah, Tuscany in general for me yeah. especially, it's been like really high up there for me. So relaxing, but it's so rocky. Look at the rocks guys. <laughs> Wow, Ooh. take them home. I'm gonna take one home for souvenir, you know? <laughs> Alright, so it is now 10 a.m. There's a lot more people here now. Yeah, Yeah. So if you want like more privacy, definitely come in the morning. All 
Alright, so we're at the bottom of the hot spring now. This and so going at it. Man, these rocks are so brutal on the feet though. But it is almost lunchtime. There's just so many people here now. It's pretty insane. So if you guys want more privacy, less crowds, then definitely go in the morning. We got here at 8 a.m., which was still not a lot of people, but lots and lots of people now. Ah, look at that current. Now noon, it's definitely time to get out of here. And we're starving, so we're gonna go get lunch. And since we're in the Tuscany region, obviously we're gonna go explore right after we eat the countryside of Tuscany. It's definitely a must visit. Sauroso. Cha cha cha. Sauroso, señoras y señores. Alright, so an hour and a half later, we are now in the town of Pienza. The drive here was insanely beautiful. Yeah, so scenic, but highly recommend that if you guys are prone to motion sickness, definitely bring a pill because the roads are windy. Yeah, like really windy. Yeah, but super, super beautiful. Yeah, so we're here to get lunch. There's this pretty popular restaurant in this area. Apparently their pass is really good, so that's where we'll be heading right now. Alright guys, so our food is here. I got the truffle pasta. It's one of their best sellers, if not their best seller. It was 16 euros. And Anne got the mushroom pasta. Also one of their best sellers. This was 11 euros. Oh, it smells amazing. You can just smell that truffle. And it's homemade. So. Yeah, let's give it a try. Ooh. And it's like sticky too. Yeah. You can tell that the noodles are homemade. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Oh! Why are you shaking? He's so excited. I don't know if I can leave Italy. This is one delicious pasta. That truffle pasta is definitely one of the best pasta I've ever had in my life. If not, yeah. Oh heck. In a small town in Italy. Yeah. It's like a medieval town too. How's that? Mm. Lots and lots of flavors. Yeah, the flavor is insane. They kind of just like yours. burst in your mouth. Mine is good, but like... After tasting the truffle, like this it's definitely like full has of flavor, more huh? flavor yeah. than this one. That was delicioso. <laughs> Why aren't you done yours? Is yours not delicioso? <laughs> Anne is like freaking out right now. Oh my god, look at this alleyway. I've never seen anything like this. Like this, I'm literally living my Tuscan dream. This is insane. This is my Pinterest board.
continue with the vlog, we would just like to thank today's video sponsor, Nissan Philippines. We had the incredible opportunity to personally experience and test drive the all new 2024 Nissan Almera. We were blown away by the design and innovative features. This car is engineered to captivate your senses and enhance your driving experience in every way. With its sleek exterior and attention grabbing features, the Nissan Almera is definitely an exciting sedan. Alright, so the new Almera drives really smooth actually. What we love most about the Almera is that it comes equipped with Nissan Connect services. Alright guys, so this is definitely my favorite feature about the Nissan Connect services. So this is the SOS button, just in case you break down on the side of the road or if you get into a minor fender bender, you press this and you get instant assistance. Receive maintenance alerts on time and have peace of mind knowing that immediate assistance is just a touch away in case of an emergency. Alright, so overall the new Almera is a very fun, exciting car to drive. Highly, highly recommend it. And visit nissan.ph slash Almera for more information. Now back to the vlog, let's go. Alright. We're stopped on the side of the road. Currently here at Agriturismo Poggio Covili. I think that's how you say it. But it's a three-star hotel here in the Tuscany region where you'll find the beautiful row of cypress trees. It's a must-see here in Tuscany. So that's why we're here. And look at what's around us. We're basically like in the middle of nowhere. Just open land, crazy. Tuscany is so beautiful, man. So this is where we're parked. Uh, everyone kind of just park on the side of the road, but do it at your own risk. And there's the row of cypress trees. Anne's getting ready, of course, because she wants change. some photos for Instagram. So we've been driving around, right? And then every time Anne sees like a, a Tuscan house, she's always like, I want that kind of house. The houses here are my absolute dream house. Wow. And of course, it starts pouring rain. Whoa, but we're in Tuscany though, no matter. Dami Christmas tree dito. Okay, so as you can see, there are already people here taking photos. It is a very popular um, photo spot here in the countryside. This is actually one of the many, um, but this has got to be one of the most popular ones because of all of the cypress trees um, all lined up leading to a hotel. We got unlucky with the weather, unfortunately, but we're still gonna try to make the most of it. But lesson learned for sure, after coming here and exploring the countryside, next time we do come to, Tuscany, we're definitely gonna stay a few nights. All right, so it's currently <laughs> raining, like it's pouring right now. But luckily, we're covered by this tree. <laughs> but we're gonna wait it out so we can uh, do some photos here. It's pouring, yeah, though, it's pouring but though. we're gonna wait it out because we drove all this way just to see these places. actually stopped and we passed by this beautiful resort in the middle of the countryside on the way back home. We decided to stop by before the rain comes and just admire it because it's actually very, very beautiful. You'll find a lot of these type of resorts in Tuscany and they have these beautiful vineyards. This hotel is called Hotel Antico. Like what Anne said, we kind of just passed by it and we're like, wow, that's a beautiful resort. So it is getting dark now, it's almost 7 p.m. And this is where we end the vlog. It was an awesome day. Mm -hmm. We started off at the hot spring, which was amazing by the way. You definitely need to do that if you're in Italy. Yeah. 
is the highlight of my year. I did not expect to love it as much as I did. Honestly, yeah. I wish that we had more time than just a day to yeah. explore Tuscany. We're definitely gonna be coming back and spending more days here in the countryside because there's just so much to take in. Yeah, and sometimes, you know, when you see it like in social media, like the pictures of a certain place, sometimes the pictures are more beautiful than the place itself. Mm -hmm. But this place, it's definitely more beautiful in person. And I was really surprised yeah. but today was amazing as always guys thank you so much for watching we really do appreciate it please don't forget to like share and subscribe and follow us on social media for daily updates yeah and we'll see you in the next vlog peace goodbye Tuscany